Okay, welcome everybody out um, to our wellness class, online class today. Top 10 Family Health Solutions is the title of our class. And we're gonna go through lots of uh, essential oil solutions that you use um, in the family. And typical, um, like 80, 90% of the cases that you would um, ha meet as you know a mother or a parent, um, that, you, that can be solved or addressed with essential oils. It's, it's amazing how many things you can do. Um, the other day we were just joking, you know, um, people, they say, there's an oil for that. And they, there's that t-shirt that says, I have an oil for that. Um, kind of interesting, um, almost every kind of ailment, you have an oil that can assist your body in dealing with that ailment. So um, as we get going here, I'm just gonna share with you our um, the screen we're going to be talking off of. Um, there is um, notes on what we'll be talking about on at jadebalden.com um, slash top 10 family health solutions or just search for family at jadebalden.com. So this is what we're going to, um, our, our topic for tonight. Um, it's, it, it's all about empowerment. Um, I just want to tell a story of, you know, when, Jade and I were uh, young parents and, you know, we were just, you know, getting started. I, I remember all sorts of uh, ways that we would try to address our family wellness concerns. Um, like if our kids ran fever, uh, you know, there was, there was a pharmaceutical for that. If they had, you know, if they coughed, um, there was something, a pill that they could, not a pill necessarily, but some syrup they could take for that. Um, all sorts of um pharmaceuticals, synthetic products, or, or um, things that, are, that have warnings on the label that you know that they're not entirely safe um, to take. Um, they, they have, um, uh, you know, what do you call them, um, uh, side effects that, that will occur for the children. Um, but, you know, that's all we had um, to do. And Sometimes when your child is in pain coming to you that they need something to, to help them, um, it's, it's really good to be able to have something to give them. And that's, uh, I think, um, what describes uh, what essential oils do to help uh, mothers and parents um, it, more than anything else is to empower them, to um, bring them something to the table that um, is effective but natural at addressing most of the common health concerns and it does so in a very safe way um, you know we, we um, allow our children to go and use essential oils by themselves they can um, go up to we have a, a, a rack uh, a shelf you know where the essential oils are and the children can learn the difference between this essential oil and the other and they they can use the essential oils themselves and we're not worried that they're going to somehow overdose or, or take too much or anything. If anything, they're going to wait, you know, maybe use essential oil that could have been used for something else, but it's not going to cause harm or damage to them. True, there are some spicy essential oils, but the fantastic thing about essential oils is they can be diluted even after the application. Um, and if they're spicy, you know, um, and, you know, it might cause a bit of discomfort. That'll pass pretty quickly, and they'll you know be able to get on and on their merry way, and be all the better because of it. So um, that's what we're going to talk about: is um, different uses that you can use uh, with uh, essential oils. And um, I've got um, Debbie, and and I've got um, um, Peaches here to to help them, um, they can share their experiences as well. Jade, um, I should tell you, is um, on an airplane right now. Um, she would be with us, um, but she's on her way to um, a conference in Australia. So she promises to be back next time. If you, it, we did, uh, she did actually cover this topic a little while ago in one of our other online classes, like one of the first ones we ever had. Um, and that video is also online um, for you to watch. But so we're going to cover this together tonight. Um, do you want to share with um, Debbie? I don't know. If, would you like to share with us maybe your story um, when you first came into, um, you know, were, was introduced to essential oils and 
and how you use them in your family? Sure. So um, my story in a nutshell is that um, I had had many experiences in my life that Western medicine was not the answer for. And so I had to search for natural means. I had all kinds of issues with allergies and, and um, I, I started using herbal products. Then I used homeopathics. A nursing colleague of mine introduced me to essential oils. I used essential oils and I just bought them where I could find them in the health food stores from time to time. And sometimes they worked, including the herbs, the homeopathics, the essential oils. Sometimes they worked and sometimes they didn't. And I kept searching for more information. It's interesting over this last couple of weeks, as I have talked about um, my story, I realized that when I, when I saw doTERRA, it was at a perinatal nursing conference that I was presenting at, and Peggy Smith was one of our vendors there. And when I saw her table, I knew that a prayer had been answered. And the funny part about that is I didn't really realize until these last couple of weeks that I started sharing doTERRA before I ever had a product because I had Peggy Smith call me the week after the nursing conference. And when she called me, I said, how soon can you do a class for me? I've always wanted to learn more about essential oils. I knew I wanted everything on her table. And I said, and how many do I need to have present to make it worth your while? And she said, six or eight. And I said, I can do that. And I called 22 people to make sure I had at least six or eight. And I had eight confirmations. And so at my very first class, I had eight ladies, and we sat around the table in my kitchen and barraged Peggy Smith with questions for three solid hours. And I want you to know that I got those eight ladies there before I ever had a positive product experience with doTERRA, <laughs> before I knew anything about it because of my, um, my affirmation that a prayer had been answered. And so... Um, from that moment on, that night, after we talked about several different um, health desires and concerns, I bought Peggy Smith's vetiver off of her that night, applied it to my oldest son's feet, and he went off to sleep, and he had interrupted us numerous dozens of times that night. Um, and he was, he was my one that just climbed the walls, and I was so grateful to put something on his feet that calmed him down and helped him go to sleep. And the last seven years have been filled with many hundreds and thousands of similar experiences. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> These oils are so precious. And it is my desire to get them into every home. And I'm so grateful to partner with you and Jay, Ben, and others like you that are helping us to give this gift other mothers because it has literally been a gift and I trust immensely in seven years I have not needed to reach outside of doTERRA's box and we have had countless opportunities with a family of seven to do so and I'm so confident that we have what we need at our fingertips and um, I want to share that gift I want to get these products into every home and we can do that together wow thanks Debbie that's, that's wow. incredible Yes, it was. Wow. And this is not similar to, uh, not dissimilar to Jade's experience. Um, you know, we, you know, it's been six or seven years that we haven't had a reason to take our kids to the doctor. And oh. 95% of everything we can take care of at home with essential oils and, and the other things, you know, we don't have any prescription or, or over the counter. Um, medicine in the house at all we haven't for for quite some time um you know i i remember when we now i gotta tell you debbie sue here is my cousin and i grew up and and i remember her introducing all sorts of homeopathic remedies to my family um and my mother bringing home um you know all sorts of things and 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 um it was on the day that we, when we were traveling through, um, visiting my family and, and Debbie was there sharing these essential oils with my mother, um, that uh, my wife got into the conversation and that everything uh, cascaded from there. And she was introduced to the essential oils. And even though we were on a very tight budget, um, my wife um, bought a kit and um, she started um, testing them out. Cause she, she also 
was looking for a solution. She had attended chiropractic, and she would tell a much more um, uh, <laughs> um, a passionate uh, um, version of her story. But she would uh, attend, you know, chiropractors and and um, energy, um, you know, practitioners and and all sorts of things. And she, uh, as I said, you know, like Debbie said, you know, Western medicine just wasn't um, taking care of all of her her problems and she had asthma she had a puffer and she'd have back problems and she'd be tired uh, because of this and that and she'd have headaches all the time and one by one all these things started to um, disappear and to take care of take care of themselves you know she all of a sudden had a lot more strength a lot more energy was able to you know carry heavy loads of groceries and, and laundry whereas her poor husband had to do that before and you know, she, she used, used to always have a puffer because um, she had problems breathing, especially at certain altitudes. And, and it, it, um, she all of a sudden stopped needing those sort of things. She just didn't need them anymore. Um, oh. Her eyesight cleared up. You know, when she had her first child, it, um, she had to get glasses. And, and you know, she, her eyesight cleared up. Um, she, she did get a bit of a... Um, um, something done with that as well, but things started to clean up and and um, yeah, a little bit, little by little, you know. And and then after a few months, we looked at our this little um, you know box that you have in the in the kitchen cupboard with all your um, over the counter medicine in it, and things were expiring. And we, we decided, you know, we just didn't need that anymore. I remember tossing all that stuff into the into the garbage, and we save a lot of money not just on those over-the-counter medicines, um, but also on the doctor's bill. It's so expensive to, you know, go to the doctor, the dentist, and all these things add up, and they're usually surprises um, when it comes to hitting your pocketbook. So I think, um, you know, essential oils, they're, they're very valuable um, price-wise, um, but they're very, they're very worth it. And we can have to reduce the amount of toxins that we have in our home and we've been able to replace all those natural solutions with with these sorts of things. So um, that's what we're going to go over tonight. Peaches, uh, I see Jenny's also joined us. Hello. Yes. <laughs> um, do you, do you have anything that you wanted to add um, as far as your story in in um, discovering essential oils? And I would love to share. <laughs> I'm always open to sharing. I this is a God sent a god-given god sent you know blessing you know and this is i'm just amazed how long essential oils have been around and i only just started tapping into it last year mm -hmm. i've been it's been changed i'm a i'm a nurse i'm a dialysis nurse and it's been changes in the medical profession from one thing to the other and i remember saying a prayer god if you could just help me through these changes, because we we just got hit uh, with our, our changes in our hours, okay? Changes in our hours, which we went from 10 hours, 10 and a half hour shifts to 14 and a half hour shifts. And most of the staff was pretty disgusted. And I'm only telling you this because it's bleeding somewhere. And um, our bodies, the toll sometimes, hours of standing up and bending over to care for people and do certain things and all the mental, you know, stress that comes with, you know, thinking for 14 and a half hours on treating different individual patients individually, you know, it takes a toll. So you need something to calm you down when a patient's upset or things go wrong or, you know, there's stress factors in the job. And I'm telling you, these oils couldn't come at a better time. Just, just, uh, recently I've been having the, uh, foot, the, the foot pain and I was like, Oh no, I hope I'm not coming down with that plantar fasciitis because the heel started hurting. You know, you, I'm standing for a long time. And that was about the time you guys taught on that, the marjoram. Yeah. I think I missed that. I was, no, I was on, I think I was, I, I don't know if I missed that one or I was on for that one, but I know I saw the video and, um, I just, I started using it. I had it. So like I have these things and I'm trying to learn more and more and I do have the book. I go in there and I look, 
but you know, I'm, I'm also hearing from my mentors also. I get the training from my mentors. Uh, God bless Terry Pace and my girlfriend Jackie who introduced me to the oils. But I've been using it and it's a God given. It helps me to cope and to, I guess, acclimate to these changes that I'm going through in my individual personal life. And with working with patients and they're getting, you know, they get sick and, you know, it's also helping me to protect myself from those environmental threats, as we talked about. So I had an experience with On Guard. I use that as a hand sanitizer now. (laughs) When I go into restaurants, I'm learning so much. And I'm just so grateful and thankful for this God-given blessing. And now I've learned about the heli- the helichrysium with the bleeding. It's it's amazing. So thank you. Thank you for all you do. And thanks, I thank everyone for all their input. I'm just grateful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see there's some others on the call here. Uh, Jenny, if you wanted to add anything, you're welcome. If not, we're just going to go through these. Uh, Jade's listed uh, 10 points here. Um, first is a healthy gut. Most of the people who um, are having uh, difficulties and, and um, health concerns in their life, it's either they're not getting enough nutrition or there's something wrong in their gut. Um, and so this is probably, you know, I, I hear a lot of um, recommendations that Jade will make to people or um, that you know, people need to do. Um, pertains to your gut, like if they have brain fog or if they have, they're tired or they're stressed, a lot of these issues um, relate back to the gut. So here's some simple things you can do. Um, I, I, I know she hasn't listed um, a cleanse on top of this, but if you could just start with lemon oil, a bit of lemon oil in your water, and a word mm-hmm. to be wise, um, you want to use a glass bottle. These Voss bottles are actually fantastic because they're like $3. And mm-hmm. there are, uh, you know, just a couple drops in there. Um, mm-hmm. Use a glass because any sort of plastic container with a citrus oil, the citrus oil actually breaks down the plastics. And that's what, uh, part of the power that it has inside your body where it's breaking down some of those chemicals that are built, built up. So that lemon oil will start to help cleanse your body out um, mm-hmm. and remove those toxins. Terrazyme, it's a, it's a, It's a pill, Um, you can take it. It's uh, a lot of natural enzymes. It's not an essential oil, but this uh, herbal uh, herbal complex, uh, just it's an enzyme complex, I should say, um, will help move things around because our food does not have as as many enzymes as it used to have. And as we get older and, um, you know, higher in age, we um, don't make as many enzymes as we do when we're, when we're young. So that helps move things along and keep it healthy, especially after a big meal. Digestin, that's a fantastic essential oil blend. I know in some countries it's called Zengest. Um, these names have to change from country to country um, based on the um, you know, trademark laws and stuff. So Digestin, um, is, it has all those essential oils that would normally, um, you, you we associate with digestion it has like fennel peppermint um you know there's some you know digest uh what do you call it the pink liquid that you that you um take over the counter it's it's got peppermint in it that that's like its active ingredient so fennel peppermint um and and um ginger and, and these other essential oils all blended together and you can either rub it on your tummy or you can put it in some water and drink it or if you don't like the taste, which I think it's a fantastic taste, but you can put it in a peel and take that. Speaking of pills, there's a tab um, called Digest Tab, which you can get um, all this tab, tab. It's a calcium tab that has Digest, digest Zen um, embedded in it. And you can take that. I think this is fantastic. I know a lot of guys really like this. If you've eaten something that you shouldn't, or maybe a little bit more than you should have, um, the Digest Tab will, really helps to, you know, soothe and settle that um, upset and get things um, settled. So that's uh, um, healthy tip number one. Um, I, I don't know if uh, Debbie or, um, or Peaches, do you have anything you want to add to that healthy, healthy gut tip? 
I just like to add that I have experienced the power of digestion and it works wonderfully. There's been times my stomach didn't feel right. I was nauseous, you know, and it had indigestion or, you know, cramps or whatever. And I would just rub a couple of drops in on my abdomen and 15 minutes or so down the line, I didn't, the feeling was gone. I done forgot, the, <laughs> I forgot all about it. So I know it's powerful. I know it works. Uh, just to say, and it impacts, I love the way other people get the same impact from the uh, oil. There was, there's a guy on my job who experienced the oils and he said certain foods he would have to, you know, stay away from due to, you know, I guess indigestion and, you know, digestive problems. And since he's been using that oil, he says it works wonders. He's not afraid to eat the foods that he likes. So when I hear those positive feedbacks, it gives me joy and it just reinforces, you know, the way that I feel about these oils. So I'm just grateful. That's all I have to share on that. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Peaches. Good job. All right. So as to number one, healthy gut. Um, and I think having a healthy gut actually helps um, to solve a lot of other problems. You, if you start there, um, other things will start to, um, you know, fix themselves. Uh, so you should take one thing at a time instead of trying to attack every, all of your health problems at once. Um, and that's probably a really good place to start. Um, tip number two is muscles and joints. And I might add um, here, Growing pains. I have uh, one of one of my children. Um, every once in a while, she'll come to me and she'll say, "Oh, my my arms hurt, my legs hurt," and I'm thinking, "Wow, she's growing. She's getting bigger and stronger and everything." And so she's uh, she'll rub a little bit of this um, deep blue, um, which is called soothing blend. Some countries this is called ice blue, um, and it comes in either an oil, and the oil is also um, infused in a rub which is kind of like a lotion that you can put on that has a little bit of a longer lasting effect when it's in a lotion. So um, you just put that on where it hurts. Um, there's also a polyphenol complex, which is more like a herbal thing. It's a, it's in a pill. Um, it's got a lot of polyphenols in, um, which, you know, the deep blue rub also has, and you can take that and it's especially good for internal pains, pains that are not really at, at the surface. Um, and it'll go more of a systemic um, um, effect to that. Um, aroma touch. Um, I've heard Jade say, you know, deep blue is um, one's a cold pack, one's a hot pack. Aroma touch is the massage blend essential oil, and it it really works well um, when you put with the deep blue because it it's also got that um, that muscle soothing component to it, which which makes it an excellent. Um, uh, massage oil and other tree, other tea tree other tree oils um, tree oils meaning uh, actually balance uh, essential oil blend is a, is a good one because it has a lot of those tree oils um, but you know cedar wood or, or those sorts of oils to help um, so soothe your um, muscles and joints um, so that's uh, tip number two uh, anything anybody wants to add to this one I'll add to that just a moment. Um, I love Jade's um, cold pack and hot pack there. That is very true. And I personally don't tolerate the cold pack as well as others. And um, there's lots of reasons for that, but I love the warm pack. And so I love the oils in the Aroma Touch blend. And very often I will use them separately if I have a kind of an exacerbation of problems with my, my bones or joints or um, Whatnot. And so I love that we have different oils for different body types. And the polyphenol complex is just filled with those products that bring down the inflammation in our body. And very often that is what's causing the problem and the discomfort in our bodies. And so when we bring down that inflammation, um, we can see great things. And so I love to encourage people to use that polyphenol complex mm -hmm. when they've got something that's been bothering them for some time. Okay. It's approaching, you know, it's it's a different kind of approach to pain, isn't it? Whereas, you know, um, before where we had, you know, a certain pill for every ill, this is more going to the reason behind it and addressing that and helping your body to deal with it instead of like hammering it on the head. Yeah. 
Speaking of hammering something on the head, we've got um, head and neck tension. Um, <laughs> Uh, we, we, we word it in this format. Um, we don't really want to say headache because that, there's so much more to, uh, to your head tension than just, you know, a pain there. And there's so many different ways to approach it. Um, it really does matter what is causing it. Um, I find that if I put uh, some, some, sometimes when I have a, a lot of pain up there, if I put uh, some deep blue and um, frankincense together, that, that, that works um, better for me in some in some situations. Um, here uh, we've got past tense. Um, past tense is a fantastic blend. Um, got frankincense and peppermint. If you don't have that, you can just put frankincense and peppermint. Um, mm -hmm. Oil straight on the on your head or neck. Um, clary calm, uh, bergamot. Depending on what type of pain this is, if it's, if it's caused by um, menstruating or if it's caused by um, you know strains on your nerves or if it's caused by tissue damage uh, there are different kinds of pains that should be addressed um, differently there's a whole other post we have on types of headaches um, that you can look to if that's something that you you want to address um, so when you're when you're trying to solve that uh, head and neck tension these are some fantastic essential oils to try and, and some people swear by it and they'll, they'll that's, that makes all the difference in their in their world and they don't have this fear that you know some some there's some uh what do you call it side effect that's gonna somehow pop its head up and say like you've been taking these pills for a long time and here's a problem um so you don't have to worry about that one good thing about essential oils is your body completely flushes them out and completely metabolizes them within about eight uh six to eight hours depending on your body weight um um, it will all be flushed out within, you know, a day or so, and you don't have to worry about any sort of buildup. You, uh, anybody have anything to, they want to add um, when it comes to head and neck tension? I'm working with a gal right now that is been a little bit hesitant because of her head tension um, to use the oils because she was concerned about the aromas, and gradually she finally opened the bottles. And so I'm looking forward to meeting with her soon and um, considering or looking at the possibility of her head tension being caused by hormones. And um, so I'm excited to plug in that Clary Calm for her. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. All right, um, the next one is strengthening immunity. Very important, especially if in a home with um, small children. Um, the best, there are a, actually a lot of essential oils that will help boost your immunity or help support, I should say, support your immunity. Um, the main one here um, that we use on a regular basis is On Guard, and that's an essential oil blend. It has, a, um, you know, all sorts of um, immunity boosting essential oils, such as cinnamon and wild orange. And, and these other oils, and it mm -hmm. smells fantastic. And you actually find it such a favorite that it's added to a lot of products. Um, because, um, especially cleaning products, because it helps to guard against uh, micro, microbiotic environmental threats. So we, our kids use it, you know, we put it a bit of um, on guard, there's a cleaner concentrate that you can get that has it up, that's infused with on guard essential oil blend. Um, my kids use it to, you know, clean their bathrooms um, with some uh, laundry detergent that they make that has, is also infused with this. Um, fantastic. Um, and, you know, we use it, you know, washing around the kitchen, um, all sorts of things that we do with this. And, of course, um, when, when you feel like your uh, immunity has been weakened um, in some way um, and you need that strength to maybe get, it, get through a particular illness or whatever, um, the On Guard Essential Oil Blend is a fantastic blend. I just want to tell a little, little bit of a story behind that blend um, that was, you know, pretty fascinating to me when I first um, was introduced to essential oils. Um, around the time of the bubonic plague, um, there were these thieves that would go and they would rob dead bodies or graves of people who had succumbed to their the plague and they were able to get in there and rob and they were they had never come down with it 
uh, that particular you know, sickness. And finally, when the French authorities caught up with them, um, they captured them. And there's a lot of different versions of this story. Um, mm -hmm. they, they, they said, look, how are you over, able to, you know, not get the sickness that everybody is dying from? And in, in exchange for a bit of lenient se sentence, um, they agreed to tell their, um, you know, their secret. And it was from those uh, um, herbs and spices that they were rubbing on or using where the recipe for this on guard essential oil blend comes from. And there's, um, like I said, there's other versions of this in particular. <laughs> on guard um, version of this, uh, sorry, doTERRA's version of um, this blend. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic. And not only is it going to help you if you know, you're applying it um, therapeutically for you to boost your own Im immunity or to strengthen your immunity, but also to reduce toxins in your home when you use mm -hmm. other essential oils to help clean around in your home. Um, the Miss Melissa uh, essential oil is a very precious essential oil. Um, and and it's, uh, these last few years, it's been kind of hard to get your hands on that. It's good. It's again, um, available and so it's a fantastic one. Arbor Vitae is a very special essential oil. It comes from this very um, one um, amazing tree. Um, this tree um, does not break down as, as quickly as other trees in the forest. It, it has a unique um, uh, molecular structure to um, its main components of this essential oil where it, it's instead of having six um, rings, uh, carbon rings, it has like seven. And so it doesn't, doesn't break down as easily. And, and hence it's able to do a lot of amazing things um, to us that other essential oils are, are not. So Abravit is a, a one to help boost your immunity. Very, very important. It's a tree oil. And Melaleuca also um, is that essential, essential oil. It comes from Australia has been used for centuries um, to clean and to um, you know, help people um, support their immunity and, and get through periods of illness and sickness. So um, those are fantastic essential oils and blends um, to help um, improve your immunity. Like I said, if you're coming down with something, um, these sort of things will support your body um, and your body's ability to deal with that. Um, Debbie or um, Peaches, do you have anything that you wanted to add um, when it comes to strengthening your immunity? I just, I like the On Guard a lot. I, I really do like that oil a lot and it smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. So I usually share that, um, you know, with my family members. I, 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 I particularly like the um, toothpaste. Um, and oh, I have that too. Yes, I have. I love it. I use that now. Yes, I just started using that about about a month now. I have that big tube. Oh my goodness, goes a long way. And and we've been using it for quite a long time. And and you know our, our trips to the dentist are uh, less um, because <laughs> our, our, our children have stronger teeth. Um, wow. And we we uh, oh and. We think it's in part because of the toothpaste that they're using. It's not, mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have any fluoride in it. Um, so it's mm -hmm. all natural sort of thing. So um, pretty all natural all, all around. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Debbie, is there anything you wanted to add in terms of immunity? The real beauty of strengthening the immune system is prevention. And so when we use the products preventatively, when we know there are more environmental threats or seasonal threats, that's where they really, really shine. We'll use more oils if we wait till we get sick. And so I love the prevention piece in this building of the immunity. And clearly, if something's not working, we have something else to reach for. And yeah. so I love the choices. This is really valuable. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, you know, if we have lots of essential oils that we're recommending in all these areas, you know, if they don't work the same for everybody. Everybody has a unique body and, and reactions and there may be uh, emotional or, you know, um, 
spiritual um, elements to each of our individual characters that um, react differently with it, with an essential oil. And so, you know, if something's not working with us, maybe that symptom is caused for, for, by something completely different from our neighbor. And so there's, there's always a, a handful of essential oils you can try, and, which is a good thing because, you know, it also, you know, like bugs and stuff can't really adapt to um, so many different um, essential oils and the different constituents in each individual. So there's so many active ingredients in each one. Um, mm -hmm. We talked earlier about helichrysum. The helichrysum, hello, Kayla. Helichrysum are wonderful essential oils for cuts, burns, bumps, bruises, and bites. That's probably your first go-to oil for that. Um, second to that is lavender. Lavender is a wonderful essential oil for all things skin, um, as well as a calming essential oil. So it's got kind of those um, dual purposes. Melaleuca, which is also um, this uh, used to strengthen your immunity, um, is for that reason is also very good for cuts and burns and, and bites, um, especially bites, to help, you know, um, um, strengthen your immunity in the localized area as well as um, help your skin as well. Melaleuca is a really fantastic essential oil for skin and nails. Um, Roman chamomile um, as well. Correct X, I want to talk a little bit about this Correct X. It's, it, Correct X is a gel. It comes in a little tube and it's got helichrysum and it's got all these uh, wonderful um, healing essential oils in. So if your children have a cut or something, um, this is, it's in a gel. So sometimes you'll find when you put a bit of essential oil on a, an owie, um, the essential oil will run past the owie and soak their, their finger, making it more difficult to even put on a Band-Aid because let's face it, essential oils are good at getting Band-Aids off. <laughs> um, but this Correct X, X is fantastic where you can put it right on the, on the, on the cut and wrap a bandaid around it. So it's uh, a lot of people are familiar with um, uh, the equivalent of this is uh, Neosporin, um, or uh, synthetically produced. Um, but the Correct X is uh, all natural; it so doesn't use um, uh, petroleum jelly or anything. It's 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 fantastic for kids. And I know uh, one particular mother of um, some small boys who goes through um, you know uses Correct. Correct X um, fairly religiously. Um, any other um, blends? Uh, any, any other remedies for cuts, burns, bumps, bruises, and bites that, that you, any of you can think of? I want to say a, a tidbit about Correct X. Yes. Um, for those of you who know my husband, my husband is a pharmacist, and um, when Correct X first started coming out, it kept disappearing. And I'd buy some more and it would disappear and I'd buy some more and it was given away like candy by my husband because it was so incredibly effective. And he has loads and loads of stories to share on the effectiveness of Correct X. So there you have it, a very <laughs> effective ointment from a Mr. Pharmacist, okay? <laughs> it's a wonderful, wonderful, and boy, talk about expediting the healing, that Correct X. When they first came out and asked us, what would you put? in an ideal ointment for the skin, and I listed the oils that I wanted, and that was exactly what was in the Correct X. So it is a marvel, and something we have in just about every bathroom drawer and my purse and the car um, to make sure we have it because of our boys. There's something about boys. Every day we're using that, that little gift. <laughs> uh, uh, Kayla, is there anything you, you want to add on? Cuts, burns, bumps, bruises, and bites. Well, um, well, we use lavender a lot for that. Um, my niece got stung by a bee at the school, and um, I threw some lavender on it right away. And ten minutes later, she was good to go. It wasn't burning anymore, and the bumps were gone, and it was pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. and sometimes. <laughs> Maybe I'm a really mean mom, but sometimes I'll put on guard on stuff like that too. <laughs> and it, it's, isn't surpri it's surprisingly not as painful as you would think it would be, but you know, I think it really helps to get in there and help it, 
you know, cleans it out really good and yeah, helps it start healing up. So yeah, I like on guard. Um, I guess it could be a bit of a spicy um, oil, um, but I like the spiciness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I think sometimes even the clove will help numb it a little bit too. So it's not like I don't know. It doesn't. I use on guard a lot on hang nails and stuff. I'll put it right on the bed of the nail and it doesn't hurt and it it, it just helps. <laughs> and, and, um, yeah, clove's another one of those good ones to numb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Those fantastic uh, oils you want to have in your in your home. And as we said earlier, if you don't have helichrysum, um, if you get correct X, it has a helichrysum in it. Um, another one that has helichrysum in it is the um, Solubre, uh, that's the Australian term of it, the Immortel. Um, that's, that's the one that has that. All right, let's move on to respiratory. Um, now, respiratory is all things, coughs, um, breathing problems, um, anything that has to do with, you know, um, you know catch, catching your breath or um, sometimes even feeling lightheaded. And uh, also, you know, when you get a bit ill and you have, um, you know, heavy breathing. So breathe is the, is the, breathe is the essential oil blend. Um, it's very popular. A lot of people, um, that's one of the first products that they, that they absolutely latch on to and breathe. And it comes in a essential oil blend. It comes in a vapor stick. Um, I don't know if you remember being rubbed down with, um, you know, the vaporizing, um, stuff when you were a kid, um, when you got ill. They have a breathe vapor stick that you can rub on, and it comes in a, a lozenge. Um, so you can take that, and you know, as if you're overcoming something throughout the day, it's something an easy way to treat it. Breathe. Um, it has eucalyptus and cardamom on it, in it actually. Um, so those those are also um, essential oils that you can use um, separately. Eucalyptus is amazing to help open the airways, um, as well as card cardamom. Uh, and um, Jade also has on guard here as well to, to help with the respiratory. Um, any stories um, with the use of these oils, especially Breathe, that, you, that any of you would like to share? Breathe, I had a big respiratory issue in Ohio and that's how, it's, it's part of my story. I mean, that's how I was introduced to doTERRA. I went to the doctor because I just couldn't get clear i couldn't breathe and it was running down my throat all the time and just affecting my voice and so i went to the doctor and they sent me to the allergy specialist and they did all the allergy testing and you know where they poke your arm 80 times and see what you're allergic to and i wasn't allergic to anything i didn't react to any of the allergens so they were like i don't know what's wrong but here take these medicines and <laughs> you know it <laughs> it all those did was cause other side effects that I didn't like. And, um, and that's when I met Jade and then she taught me about essential oils and gave me breathe and I was able to breathe and it helped clear that out. And, and I, you know, I use it still, I've, I've used it for six or seven years now and it's been wonderful. So, you know, it's just, and we talked about that the other day, Jade and I, and how, you know, it, it allows you to breathe in life and, you know, I wasn't able to breathe in anything at that point, not mm -hmm. air, not life, not anything. And, and breathe just helps you breathe in that, that love of life and everything around you. So great oil. Wow. Good. All right. Overheated. Um, this is if your kids get ill or something that they have a, so it, it, um, good way of saying if they have a fever or if they're just getting hot and they just need to cool down uh, really quickly these are some essential oils that can help in that area um mm -hmm. deal with that overheating peppermint is fantastic um to help um eliminate them um, excess heat in fact mm -hmm. in, in the summer uh, we'll put a couple of drops of peppermint in some water um, in, a, in a little bottle and i'll spritz it on them. That, that's a fantastic way of cooling down. Um, this specifically, um, she's, she's had, she has frankincense, peppermint, and lavender. So if your children are, um, because 
having a fever is a, one way that your body um, reacts to and takes care of um, environmental threats that, are, that have come into your body and are wreaking havoc. Um, and your body's raising the t raising its temperature to help kill those off. Um, so these essential oils um, will help with that, with your body's ability to um, um, lower its temperature, or I should say manage its temperature. Does anybody have any stories of, of using those? I do. I'd like to share the peaches. I um, My mom called me to um, let me know that my baby nephew at the time, he was an infant, that he was running a fever you know, and um, she was, you know, contemplating where she should take him to the doctor. And I had told her, I said, Mom, I gave you a sample of peppermint. I says, put that on the bottom of his feet every half hour, just a drop. Every half hour, just check his um, temperature and, you know, just to see how it goes. It should drop down. So she was like, thank you. You know, thanks for reminding me. I'll do that now. We got off the phone and she did it. I had um, called the check back and he was high. He was like 102, mm -hmm. one or something like that. And she said she checked it. She did it twice. And um, his temperature went down to 101 something. And then she did it again, another half hour. And it went down to 99 something. And I think the following day, the next day I went over to visit just to, you know, check on him and see how he was doing. And uh, the fever was gone. And he was his self again, because she said, oh, he was just tired, laying down. He wasn't his, you know, playful, smiley self. And when I got over there, the fever was gone by the next day. So it works. <laughs> I like peppermint. It works. It, it, it can be very dangerous for a child to run a, run a high fever, especially on an extended, um, for an extended period. Um, you know, they have those warnings where it says if, if you uh, have a high fever or if it's above this, uh, um, um, this temperature, you need mm -hmm. medical attention. Um, we can use essential oils um, to never get there in the first place. Um, if, if, you, if it is a fever you can't bring down, um, there is a time where you, you got you to gotta reach out. Um, but we, we, we really haven't gotten there before. Because we, we've had some, yeah. Well, she, I guess he had spiked it. I, I guess he might have spiked it overnight or something. And she was just calling me to let me know that it had gotten that high. And um, the doctors, the doctor said, give him the Tylenol. And if it, you know, remains, I guess, for I think it was three days or something like that, or two days high like that, they said, then bring him in. So she was looking for, another, you know, I guess a different alternative because she didn't want to always give the baby Tylenol because that could be dangerous too. Yeah. But I said, you know, in conjunction with that, I said, just use the peppermint, you know, use the peppermint. She said they had given him Tylenol earlier that day and it was still, you know, floating around 102. And I just said, use the peppermint and every half hour, you know, check, you know, check them just to make sure. And, you know, just add a little, another drop to his foot. And by the next day, it, it, it was normal. <laughs> so. And you also touched on something, you know, a lot of people come up with this question. They're like, well, can I use essential oils at the same time I'm using, um, you know, a pharmaceutical drug? And the, mm. the answer is, you know, if you can eat food at the same time you're using, oil, most of the time, always you'll, the answer will be yes, you can use essential oils because they're going to help your body there are there are very few and you can look it up in um in modern essentials for instance um there are very few um instances where an essential oil will um heighten or um you know lessen the effect of that other drug. But for, for these uh things that you're talking about, um absolutely, yeah, you can take them at the same time as your using whatever your doctor has prescribed. That, that's a really good story. Um, Thank you. That, that, that's happened to us as, as well in our family. I remember when um, we used to um, take a to get the shots and give them a bit of a painkiller beforehand <laughs> to do that. Um, mm. 
now we don't tell them stuff like that anymore. But you know, it's 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 good to be able to have some other solution. That's what people are looking for, isn't it? Because yes. They want to try something else because um, I'm not happy with this other. So that's uh, um, overheated or um, so the next one, um, healthy weight. So maintaining a healthy weight. Um, so Terry has this a wonderful blend um, called Slim and Sassy. I'm not so sure if I like that, that name because it's, it's like, I don't know, Slim and Sassy. <laughs> the met, metabolic blend, and I take this in my water all the time. Um, it's, it just helps get your metabolism going. Having a healthy metabolism will help you maintain a healthy weight. Um, one of the um, uh, ingredients in that Slim and Sassy blend um, that I think is the most important is grapefruit. And grapefruit um, is one of these metabolic boosters. Um, get, get, your, um, get your system fired up and um, burning, um, burning energy um, into energy. Burning, you know, we call it, um, like fat or whatever stores into energy. The other ones, are lemon and ginger, are also really fantastic for helping your body detox. Sometimes your body will store um, fat for two reasons. Um, the first is because it's trying to protect your body from um, toxins um, that are floating around free in your body. It's just a protective mechanism. And second, mostly, is um, when you have the excess um, caloric intake, then it's storing that for energy. Um, so lemon and ginger will help in that process of um, eliminating that and help you maintain a healthy weight. In fact, uh, doTERRA has a, um, a program, a Slim and Sassy program. Um, they've got shakes um, that you can take um, along with the Slim and Sassy um, um, essential oil blend um, and, um, you know, eating the proper, proper way um, will help you maintain your healthy weight. So there's an uh, essential oil for that. <laughs> I didn't have experience uh, with um, number eight with uh, using the Slim Sassy tutorial blend. Not yet. Ben, I, I just want to push the Slim and Sassy gum. <laughs> That's really not the word I wanted to say, but I really love, 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 love that Slim and Sassy gum. <laughs> it really is a great appetite curber and great. In fact, I had a little boy today wanting a mint because he smelled my slim sassy gum on my breath. He said, I want a mint. And I said, it's gum. <laughs> I want some gum. <laughs> I, think gum. I think the gum is a good idea because your, your body um, uses a few mechanisms to, to alert that it's full and that it doesn't need to eat anymore. Your, your, your stomach, whether your stomach is stretched and stuff, it, it, Give you that satiated feeling, and also when you're chewing your food, the longer you chew your food, that chewing mechanism will actually um, help to um, trigger feeling of satiety, so you don't have the you know um, feeling that you have to eat over and over. So that that slim and sassy gum, it's 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 quite a good flavor. I mean, it's a slim and sassy flavor, and I think. And I enjoy that flavor, but it's in the gum and it's it's constantly the flavors there. And that flavor I think lasts um, lasts for a good amount of time. I mean, it would kind of dissolve off, but yeah, and it's also got that chewing um, you know mechanism with it. Um, and, then, and then you've got the, the trim shake, which um, um, I, I like I like it for, um, just for protein, um, but it's a uh, in between meals. So the idea is you're eating smaller meals um, six times a day rather than three big meals throughout the day because eating big meals and then you go for a long time before you eat another big meal, um, that's just telling your body, we got to store some of this stuff. But if you're eating smaller meals, your body is constantly burning it. And every time you eat, um, that's a metabolic trigger. So the more often you're eating, um, your metabolism is going to stay alive and active. And as your metabolism is active, that means it's, it's burning your fat and everything. So uh, keep, and that's what that shake is for, um, too. 
because it's really difficult to cook six meals a day. <laughs> you're eating a small meal, a half a meal, and then you're drinking a, a shake. Um, you know, it's a meal replacement, uh, basically. Or you may, or you're um, taking a snack, like a half piece of fruit. Really, you know, sometimes all I eat is a half a banana and you know a small little bit of nuts or something, and that would be a, a meal because um, I can't finish the whole thing. <laughs> um, sometimes bananas get really big in our grocery store. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's number eight and maintaining healthy weight and how you can use essential oils to do that. Sleep. Sleep is a big one for people and essential oils can absolutely help uh, a lot in this area. In fact, there's a whole um, video that we've done on sleep, a whole post here uh, on sleep. But to, um, uh, in brief, you've got serenity, which is the restful blend. And that also comes in a, in a soft gel now it's a new product that that here has just come out with um, so you can take a few of those or, you know one of those really before you go to sleep at night there's a serenity essential oil blend which has roman chamomile and lavender in it um or you can use roman chamomile and lavender if you don't have a blend um and of course you, you, you would use that by either putting it on the bottom of your foot um across the forehead or naturally just diffusing it Sometimes people will put maybe a drop or two on their pillow. I like the, you know, putting it on me rather <laughs> than the pillow or putting it on the person next to you if you're showing the bed with someone. Um, vetiver. Um, Debbie mentioned vetiver earlier. Um, vetiver is a really good one. I don't know if you know, vetiver is, comes from a root. So for those people who are always up in their head and spinning around, um, vetiver is a really good one to root you. Um, for, for boys especially that um, have a hard time paying attention, vetiver is a good one. It smells like dirt. And if you put it on the big toe, which it corresponds to the brain, it will help their brain to ground um, so they can come down to earth. And, um, it also, it, and, and because of that, it will help with sleep. Juniper berry, the way juniper berry helps you with sleep, it helps you stay asleep. It quiets the organs. Um, you can look at an organ uh, clock, a body clock. Um, there are times uh, your body goes through different organs um, at different times of the, of, of the night, you know, different cycles. And sometimes when it, it gets to that organ, the organ's not happy and um, it, it wakes you up. And I've, ha I've been there, you know, three o'clock in the morning, you're wide awake and you can't get back to sleep. The juniper berry is one way to uh, eliminate that or avoid that and balance. Um, Jade always tells about monkey brains. Um, especially, I think especially with women, very uh, much appreciate balance. Their head's going in so many directions and they're thinking of all these things and they have all these ideas and they have a piece of paper and they have to get up and they have to do all these things and they have to solve a ton of things before they get to bed. Balance. A good one to calm all that down. Another oil that she doesn't have here, um, but men mentions uh, frequently is a wild orange. Sometimes people um, don't want to go to sleep at night because they have so much to do. They just have too much to do. Wild orange is the oil of abundance. That means abundant time. Um, you're, sometimes people are like, I have to keep on working, I have to keep on working because the day is almost out. I don't have, there's not going to be any more today. Um, but wild orange is one to help. Have, I let, have we left anything out on the sleep um, essential oils here? I think those are the main ones that people talk about. Lavender, right? Is lavender? Yeah, that's right. Lavender. La lavender is one. Of, it's included in the serenity. Lavender and Roman chamomile. I think mm -hmm. if this, if this was more complete, it's probably write those separately as well. And cedarwood is also in the serenity blend, and I've used cedarwood. Oh, for, yeah, cedarwood. <laughs> And hoe wood, um, which is not a, a separate essential oil that we, that's purchased, <laughs> it's also now included in the, ser the serenity blend. Oh wow! You notice a lot of those are woods. Mm-hmm. Get yeah, a balance, the whatever. All right, sleep. Okay, that's a whole other topic we can go into. Last uh, thing here, and we're just about to finish off, is energy and stamina. Um, by far the vitality supplements. If you're not on the lifelong vitality pack, you want to get there um, because a lot of people who um, are lacking in energy, it's probably either a cleanse issue where their guts just sucking the energy out of their life or 
it's a nutrition issue. They are actually starving no matter how much food they eat, they're not getting the right nutrients. It would be, you'd be surprised to find out how many people in our modern society are actually nutrient deficient. Um, so topping that up, um, this is, a food, so, you know, sometimes people, one of the shocks that people get is how many pills there are because you're taking two in the morning, two, two at the night of three different um, kinds of supplements. And so that's six pills in the morning. Plus you're doing a cleanse, you're taking those ones as well. That's a lot of pills. But if you think of that, supplements are just there to add on to the food you're eating. They're, it's actually food. Um, so it should be, you know, substantial and it should be able to fill in the gaps in your diet. So the vitality supplements, what do you guys think is, can you, uh, attest, uh, supplements, um, giving you more energy? Yes. We love them at our house. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when Jade first had, had me taking pills. <laughs> That's it. Um, she brings this up home, and, and as most husbands do, they just do it. Yeah. Um, the Mito 2 Max is probably the product that I noticed the biggest difference. A lot of essential oils, to me, at, at first, it was uh, um, the, the change was in, uh, almost imperceptible until I had um, addressed other things, and. Um, but with the Mito 2 Max, you know, I could tell the days when I took it and the days when I didn't. Um, the way wow. the Mito 2 Max works is it works uh, on a cellular level, cellular level to support the mitochondria. Um, the mitochondria is the energy house, the powerhouse of the cell, and so it's actually creating more level, more energy at a cellular level. And now that adds up in your body, you find you have more energy throughout the day because you're using it a lot more efficiently. That's how the Myo2 Max works. So if you have anybody who's looking for more energy, um, that's a product that you would want to recommend to them. Try them and see, see what that does for them. Oh. All right, so those, there's our happy uh, 10, um, top 10 family health solutions. Um, Anything that I've maybe um, not touched on that you guys think we should add to this list or something in your families that you find is uh, something you can't do without? Ah, that's good. <laughs> well, does anyone, anybody want to add anything um, to any of the things we've talked about tonight? I think this is a very good topic um, that um, families need to, um, every family should know about. I think uh, just going through, knowing these things, this covers a lot of the um, concerns in most families um, and it'll make a difference um, in any family that hasn't been introduced to essential oils before to know these things and be able to take care of those little things that arise throughout the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, leave it here. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out and adding to our discussion tonight. Um, if, um, and yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for coming, everybody. Thank you, Ben, for having us. Thank I you, enjoyed ben. this class. Great, we appreciate you. I appreciate you. everybody coming. We'll have Jay back in the flesh next time. Well, not in the flesh, but she will join us from Australia next time. Next, um, I'd also like to thank the ladies for their impact and sharing because you learn from, you know, others. So I thank you all for your expressions about the products. I appreciate that too as well. You two peaches, we do learn from one another, don't we? Yes, yes. we do. <laughs> and, and for those people who are listening to this um, later on or, or watching this, um, you know, you can always watch the old videos or listen to it or share it with friends. Want to search Jade Baldwin on iTunes, um, or if you don't have an iPhone, you can. Um, there's some instructions how to download it onto an Android um, on the um, that page. Um, I'll just show you how that's done here, and um, you know the site's searchable, so you can find um, uh, all sorts of the past um, episodes that we've recorded. 
there's a YouTube channel you can go to and watch that. You can subscribe and get these little frequent updates. It's iTunes. Um, and if you have an Android device or an Amazon Kindle, um, this uh, program will get you that. And so you just um, search. Um, there's a link where you can click up and search the iTunes uh, podcast directory and just put in Ed Baldwin and get you just like if you had an iPhone. So I um, just want to put that little bit in it. And again, cool. everybody, thanks. Go ahead.